Hi, Saviors! GH here. We're gonna do a brief introduction on what assisters are and what they do, what are they for, and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using at the moment. So yeah, let's jump right into it and let's do this. Okay guys, assisters are monster cards that can be summoned in specific content like the assister dungeon which can be entered through the oracle master here in this NPC. They can also be summoned in remnants of Bernice which can be entered also through the oracle master. Then weekly boss raid is also another content where you can summon assisters. Now, how can you have assisters? You must first get the quest line that starts with the Kudoran Alliance NPC just near the Gemstone Feud entrance here. You need to be at least level 100. She will give you a few card albums and those items will give you assister cards. And to be able to open those albums, you need to open the assister cabinet here. This button. Click it. Then click this assister card album button over here. After you press that button, you will be prompted by a summon circle. Just put your card album over there and you will get an assister card. Just use the assister card in your inventory and it will appear in your assister cabinet. And in there, you can put your four assisters. And the first is the one you can summon. You can level them up by just grinding. Just do challenge mode and those cards will be high level in no time. When you have 300 plus level of assisters, all four of them, Go to the assister dungeon that can be entered in the oracle master. You will get more assister cards and attributes over there. There will be a video at the end of me doing the final stage of the assister dungeon. The most important assisters are the ones that heals. And those are Mandara. This one spams heal at 2 stars. And it's very common so get this one ASAP. Then Organ. This one also kinda heals but rarely. Then Nua Ele, it can also heal. There are more, but those are harder ones to get. And I almost forgot, you can increase the number of stars of your assister by evolving them together. If you combine three one star, you will get a two star card. And if you combine three two stars, you will get a three star card. And that's about it. For the fusion tab, you can use it to combine three of your useless cards to get one random card. Never really tried that much. Aside all that, assisters can also give stats based on who's the first card and their combination. For the first card, you can see the stats below the card and that's what you get for putting it at the first slot. Most notable first slot card is number one, Nactis. This will give you slash attack. Blossom bladers will need that. And I will put a list on the screen on some of the cards I have. For the combination, one of the most common and notable is the crit rate combination, which can be obtained by putting two lightning element card on the cabinet, as you see there. And I will put a list on the screen on some of the combination info that I have gathered. There are also type of cards combination like four unique cards this four orange cards right here will give you more damage in challenge mode in dimensional collapse point unfortunately we can't see the amount of bonus damage so IMC please fix it I haven't done four pieces of legendary assister cards cuz I only have one <laughs> and what else oh yeah I've been asked a few times what assister combination I use and here it is. Mostly I just change the first card and the second card when I want a different stat. If I want more pistol damage, I put Velnia Monkey card. If I want more arrow damage, I put Fire Lord card. If I want slash damage, I put Nactis. If I want more SPR, I remove Bandara and then put another demon type card over there. Cause two demon type equals more SPR. Okay, what else? I'm probably forgetting something over here. If I do saviors, add it on the comment section down below so people will get more information. 
Anyways, this is me doing stage 40 of the Assister Dungeon. Have fun guys, so like it if you like the video, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.